Hi everybody, I'm Stefan for phototouchpost.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a custom white painting as you can see from this photo here. For the purpose you're going to need a smartphone or a tablet to create uh, this look uh, like uh, in my photo and uh, there are solutions uh, like apps you can purchase on download for free uh, but they are sort of limited and they allow you to put only text and while this idea works and you can use it to write text I'm going to show you uh, something a bit more advanced uh, how to white paint a photo or a custom shapes not only uh, text or symbols that uh, you are allowed to just write in into the app you've downloaded so let's get started for the purpose uh, we are going to use After Effects which is a software for motion graphics and compositing and if you don't know After Effects or you open it for a first time it uh, might be a bit confusing for you but don't worry uh, you can find some pretty awesome tutorials at atutspost.com which is a tutorial site from the Envato Tutspost network and you can uh, get yourself started there I'm going to explain pretty clearly what to do in After Effects in order to uh, create the final effect uh, you need for the white painting in this tutorial so wasting time watching additional tutorials uh, won't be necessary for this one so let's get started I'm going to show you the main idea let's create a new composition by going to composition new composition and uh, for example let's set the resolution to 1280 by 720 or you can put the resolution uh, of your uh, smartphone screen if you know the exact resolution and let's uh, set the frame rate to the default one and let's call this white painting it doesn't matter what you type here uh, it just uh, to organize the project and know which composition is which and what it contains so let's click OK and this is how our composition looks like this is our preview window and this is our timeline here so let's create a new solid let's create layer new solid and we want the core of the solid to be black so let's hit OK and this is our black solid what we need to do is to create a hole inside of the solid so we are going to do this using a mask let's go to the mask tool right here and we are going to use the rectangle tool so click on the tool zoom in in the center and just click and draw and after that you can hold down Alt and Shift to constrain or hold on Ctrl and Alt to start the shape from the center in my case let's zoom out a bit in my case I want the shape to look like so something like that and if I hit this switch here the toggle transparency grid you can see that uh, everything is transparent except this part of the solid here so with the solid selected if the mask uh, is not showing up here you can click on the solid and open the mask and set the mode for the mask to subtract this is going to subtract the mask and only this part here where the mask uh, is it's going to be transparent so now we can take the type tool and type for example let's increase the size to something like 400 and let's type oops let's type photo that's plus and let's change the font to the original font that photo that's 
uses for its logo and let's see it looks okay we can increase the size even more like 900 and let's take the layer and if we hold down shift we can move it only horizontally or vertically and it snaps so let's move it here and basically we want to animate the type to go from right to left and show only on this part here so let's take the type slide it here select the type layer and hit P for the position let's move two seconds forward in the timeline as you can see our timeline here has uh, some seconds marks so let's set a keyframe for the position by clicking on the stopwatch here and for example let's move like let's see like 10 seconds forward let's go to 12 second mark and just take the position of the layer and move it here and you can hold down shift and move it to increase and the speed that you move the text instead of going and uh, dragging a hundred times like so just down hold down shift and drag and it goes of increments of uh, 10 as you can see so if we play back this animation and put the text below the solid and turn off the transparency grid and hit N to set the end of the work area and just hit 0 on the numpad to make a preview you can see how our animation looks like so far so that's the end result we are going for and this is pretty similar to the smartphone apps that you can download but uh, as I said uh, they are sort of limited they allow you only a, a certain amount of uh, characters to input uh, for example mine allows me uh, the free version of the software which I downloaded allows me to enter only 50 characters which is uh, enough well, but uh, I prefer that I have some more creative freedom and I can put uh, other things instead of only text so this is going to work with text and we put uh, two seconds blank at the beginning and at the end and you can put more depending of uh, your preferences to finish this we need to export it so with the composition window selected here let's go to composition and add to render queue or control M and here uh, my default uh, export format is uh, QuickTime with a JPEG compression of 95% quality and this is going to work fine for everything you need to export for your white paintings so let's click OK and just uh, choose a output uh, folder for your file and just click render and after that you can uh, upload the file to your smartphone and play it back using uh, a player and just uh, set your camera on a tripod and uh, you need to set the exposure time to be longer of the duration of your video so for example if our video is 14 seconds you might want to uh, have a 16 seconds exposure so you can start exposing your photo play back the video having uh, the two seconds uh, blank at the beginning finish all the animation and then complete the photo and we want to finish at pure black so we have only the text in our photo so here I'm going to show you what I mean and how you need to shoot uh, the scene uh, the DSLR settings uh, are pretty easy you need just to set it to manual choose your white balance 
focus on your subject in the case uh, your tablet or smartphone and just start exposing and move the phone from right to left in order to create the white painting so this is it uh, let's see how you need to move the phone accordingly to record such a white painting as you can see it's pretty easy thing to do so now let's uh, take a look at something a bit more advanced let's turn off the text layer and drag our photo here uh, which is pretty big you might want to select the photo and hit S for scale and just um, customize your size of the photo and for example let's set it to 25% and put it below this and hit P for the position again move the photo over set a keyframe move here and just slide the photo just like that and as you can see we have the same effect the only problem is that you can't move the phone or, or the tablet with the exact same constant speed and uh, this uh, might lead to some text uh, distortion and uh, something uh, like that as you can see how it looks like uh, but uh, it's still pretty interesting effect so you can put a photo you can put a custom logo or symbol you can import an illustrator vector file and animate it you can draw something on paper and uh, edit it in Photoshop and just import it in After Effects and animate it that way and then create a custom wine painting and as you can see the possibilities are endless um, you can uh, test with a photo and remember the most important thing for this is that uh, you need uh, 100% uh, dark room uh, with uh, no light at all you need uh, your exposure time of your camera to be longer with 4 or 5 seconds more than the duration of your animation so for example if you take a 30 second exposure the best uh, result will be if your f uh, animation is 20 or 25 seconds long if it's longer it uh, you might uh, cut something at the beginning or miss something at the end and uh, that's just to ensure that you're going to capture all the data you have in your animation here so that's it for this tutorial hope you like it and find it useful once again I'm Stefan for phototouchplus.com and we'll see you next time